Welcome again to Joan TV Media, where you'll be educated and informed. Here you will surely know about your four parents and their endurance to Sylvie. So please show some appreciation to them by subscribing to the channel. Give a thumbs up and share it. Enough respect. Thank you. So come with me to Grenada. In the 14th century, Grenada was settled by the Carib, who displaced the earlier population of the Arawak Indians. Christopher Columbus visited the island in 1498 and named it Conception. Later, the Spanish named it after their own city, Grenada. European settlement was slow to follow due to the fierce resistance of the warlike Caribs. The French launched an attack and subdued the Caribs in 1674 and again controlled the island. By 1753, Grenada was flourishing French possessions. Britain took over from the French in 1763 and drove most of the Caribs off the island and established plantations with about 100 sugar mills and 12,000 enslaved Africans working in the industry. In a time when planters were reaping financial benefits of a highly lucrative sugar trade, it was said that most of the slaves that came to Grenada came from Nigeria and Ghana. More than half a century later, when the island was captured by the British during the Seven Years of War and formally acceded to Britain by the tra Treaty of Paris, the English began the importation of slaves to work on their plantations. In the years 1735 to 1780, we witnessed the highest number of slaves arriving on the island. In the 30 years, the slaves' populations of Grenada jumped to the number of slaves jumped from around 10,000 to approximately 35,000. The highest slave number would reach until emancipation. It was a very miserable, inhumane, and unforgivable existence from when the slaves were captured until their sales in Africa. In the year 1767, a slave uprising was put down. The town of St. George's was made up of all wood was burned to the ground. Julian Vidan started the revolution on the island. Vidan Rebe Rebellion, it was called. Vidan was a mixed race man who owned a plantation. He was born on the island of Martinique. He was the son of Pierre Vidon, a French jeweler. His mother was a free black slave. The family moved to Grenada in the 1750s. He was married to Mary Rose Caveland, a mulatto, in 1787. Vidon and his wife lived in Belvedere Estate in the parish of St. John's. He was the leader of the slave revolt. His objective was to convert slaves into citizens and eliminate British control, colonial ruling, returning Grenada to the French people. During the month of the insurgent, 14,000 of the island slaves joined the revolution, forces in order to write their own emancipation and transform themselves into citizens. About 7,000 of those self-liberated slaves made up their mind to perish in the name of freedom. They fought against the white landlords about a hundred troops were formed by freed slaves and mulattoes. Zidane attacks went to coordinate against the citizen, the cities of Glenville and Guawav. Zidane established several fortifications to force the British attacks. The rebellion, the rebellion allowed them to control the whole island except St. George's Parish which owns the government seat. During those months, about 14,000 of the 28,000 slaves in Grenada ceded to the British in 1763, and also the French Catholics on the island excluded from civil and political rights because of their religion. In April 8, 1796, a brother of Fidon died because of a British attack in its field. Fidon got angry and avenged his brother's death by ordering the execution of 48 prisoners of the 53 that he held including Governor Ninian Ohm. The forces of Fidon was defeated the next day on the steep hills and ridges near Mount Kwakwa. The few surviving rebels flung themselves down the mountain. Fidon was never captured and his whereabouts is unknown after the revolution. The island is, uh, island's economy was devastated whereas it had been an economical powerhouse before the, rebe the rebellion. Plantations and distilled 
had been destroyed. Bidon himself has remained an important figure in Grenadian politics, culture, and his rebellion is considered to have influenced not only the not only the emancipation of slaves in the Caribbean of the next century, but a revolutionary tradition that came to a head in 1979, Grenadian Revolution under Maurice Bishop. Vidan Rebellion has also been the subject of a resurgence of interest in popular culture, having been the subject of a number of plays and poems and being central to Grenada tourist industry. Slavery was abolished in 1834. In 1833, Grenada became a port of the British Windward Island administration and remained so until 1958, when Grenada joined the Federation of the West Indies. If you have learned and enough of, from this channel, please subscribe and share it. Thank you very much.